Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Adobe Encore. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can add music under a menu so that when you put your DVD in it isn't just silent but music is playing underneath and also how to change a static menu into a motion menu so that you can actually have video playing as your menu as opposed to just a static picture. Now both of these can be done very simply in Adobe Encore but what you need to bear in mind is when you bring in a video asset to play as a menu it needs to be rendered so when it comes to actually playing the menu it's going to take a while before we actually see it. Okay so how do we do this? I'm actually going to start with the video first and then move on to the audio because we don't really want audio playing underneath every preview that we do. Now one little word of warning um, I find that it's important to save a version at this point that you're happy with and then maybe move on an iteration so save as whatever it's called one or two or three or four because once you start adding in motion menus it's actually quite difficult to go backwards and if you suddenly turn around and say hey you know what I don't want that and I want to go back to how it was before you might find it a bit of a struggle so at this point save it and then go save as and save it as whatever the name is a version one or motion menu or whatever you want to call it so that you can always get back to the previous version without having to muck around and struggle with getting over settings okay so how do we do this well the first thing you need to do is you need to bring in the video file that you want to use for your motion menu it doesn't have to be in a timeline as all the other assets that we wanted to play had to be it just has to be a video file that you choose to bring in so how do we bring that in the same way that we bring all the other ones in the project panel we double click in the spare space to open the import dialog box and we go to the file that we want to bring in now the file I want to bring in is earth to daf you'll see why in a minute and then you can see that it's brought in right here in my project panel okay so now I want to make that a motion menu so I need to click on the menu itself I'm actually in the menu tab here you've got your monitor and your menu tab and your flowchart you could click here in your flowchart on menu as well and get the same thing I'm gonna have my menu tab click on menu and then you've got your basic tab and then you'll notice next to it you have a motion tab click on the motion tab and then you have pick widths for both a video asset and an audio asset and some other bits and pieces down here well it's as simple as this take the pick whip for the video and drag it across to the asset that you want to use you can use other assets already in there so for instance I've got my other sequences I could use a sequence as a background can't use a timeline it'll tell me so with a sort of a, a, a no entry type but I can use sequences that I've brought in but I'm actually going to use this piece of footage that I've brought in separately and let go and you'll see that it automatically updates here and it also automatically updates here and now I have my motion menu well almost there's a couple of settings that you need to see over here which are quite important and the first one is duration and that's telling you how long the actual clip is and you can see it 22 seconds and 10 frames long and then there's some other bits and pieces down here one of them says loop and at the moment it'll just go round and round and round and round forever sometimes you want that sometimes you want something vaguely interesting going on in the background while you're waiting for somebody to click a button however sometimes it's extremely annoying particularly when you've got music playing I hasten to add so sometimes you can click none and it'll just play once and stop or any of the other combinations that you have down here what does loop point mean well this is why I've chosen this clip because it starts zoomed in and then zooms out loop point specifies if you want to play the whole of the clip over and over again or whether you actually just want to play part of it now when you first put a DVD in and you watch the menu for the first time you might have something that goes on for the full 22 seconds but when it loops you really don't want it to zoom in this closely next time you just want it to loop say the last five seconds you don't want it to loop the whole 22 seconds so a loop point is a decision where you want it to go back to and start from so when you first put it in it's going to play the whole 22 seconds but you don't want it to go back to the beginning you want it to go back to 10 or 15 seconds in there so I'm going to change this to 15 seconds okay so now what's going to happen is it's going to loop back to this point here first time it will play and you won't even see the buttons from 22 seconds but when it gets to 15 seconds the buttons will arrive and then it will loop back to this point 
Now this is very useful if you want a big impact when it goes in first time when people are watching your DVD and then you want them to make a decision. It just goes back to a place where they can just wait and loop just a few seconds of interesting footage as opposed to having the whole thing looping over and over and over again. So now that we have set this up, at the moment we're going to loop forever. We're going to play the 22 seconds of the whole clip when it comes in, but we're only going to play the last 7 seconds or so looping over and over again. We think we're ready to go. So you click File, Preview, and nothing's happening. It's still static. Okay, a couple of things. Firstly, you don't have to see a big version like this. If you want to see a smaller version, you can do it at 50%. You don't have to see the 100% version. It's completely up to you. But at the moment, this isn't looping, and you say, why not? I've put the video in. I've done everything that it should do. Why isn't it working? Well, do you see this little button down here? If you hover over it, it says Render Current Motion Menu or Slideshow. If you want to see this as a motion menu, you actually have to render it. And that's going to take quite a long time. There is an alternative, particularly if you've got lots of motion menus. You can actually go to File, Render, Motion Menus, plural, and they will all render. But if you've only got one like we have at the moment, we can click to Preview. And then we can click this Render button. And then we're going to have to wait quite a long time. So what I'll do is I will cut this off and I will see you the other side. Well, there you go. And we can go straight into the shot. And the menu's pulling out. And when it gets to 15 seconds, you'll see the buttons arrive. Oh, we've got a red frame in there. See the buttons arrive. And then when it finishes, going to loop back to that point. Well, we've obviously got a bit of an issue with the red. That's a shame. But you can see the principle behind it. It's never going to go fully zoomed back in. It's always going to go back to that point. Unfortunately, we have a red frame at that point, which is a shame. OK, so that's how you can set up your motion menu. How about bringing in some audio? It's exactly the same process. We can double click in the project panel to open the import dialog box, go to where we've got the audio. I've got some audio up here, about 20 seconds of it. Again, click on the menu, go to Motion where it says Audio, click, drag, go to where the audio is. And now you can see it's updated here. It is updated in the whole project. Unfortunately, this isn't going away because of the screen recording software. It doesn't really like everything working together all at once, as you can see. But we can still do a preview and listen to the music. File preview. Well there you are. That's how you can produce a motion menu with a video background and with a nice audio track underneath, whatever you want to use, and produce DVDs and web DVDs that look amazing. Well, I'm going to be back with more tutorials in due course, but in the meantime, I hope you've learned something and that this has been useful. My name's Andrew Davis. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.